Google map with an overlay which is shown with red lines shows the location of the tunnels of the yard coal seam under Alfreton and the surrounding area. The yard seam which has been worked all over the Derbyshire area is 1,170 feet from the surface and was mined in the Alfreton area from the 1940s up until the colliery was closed. This was in 1968 after 84 years of production. The sinking of Alfreton Colliery was completed in 1886 to the deep soft seam by the Blackwell Colliery Company. This was after their sea-winning colliery was closed, after over 80 years of production. Over the 84-year period at Alfreton Colliery five different seams were worked. They were the following. The deep soft seam which was 456 feet from the surface and was deepened to the three-quarters seam at 783 feet in 1919. The three-quarter seam was opened in 1938 from the low main seam which was also known as the Tupton seam and it was closed in 1967. The deep hard seam was 396 feet from the surface and was opened from the deep soft seam. The low main seam was 738 feet deep and was opened from the shaft pillar in 1900. In the 1950s the low main seam was tunnelled towards Birchwood and also towards Sherland. Apparently whilst digging, the tunnel unexpectedly came out on the side of a hill, I believe this was somewhere near Sherland. If you have any further details about the unexpected tunnel exit at Sherland please leave a comment. The yard seam as shown in the video with the red lines I believe was also known as the black shale seam. If you know otherwise please leave a comment. The highest manpower at Alfreton Colliery was 964 in 1951. The highest output was 411,643 tons which was between 1963 and 1964. We are working towards adding more overlays for other coal seams around Alfreton. If you have any information or maps for Alfreton Colliery and surrounding collieries please leave a comment as we may be able to use these in future videos. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up.